Hello, I'm here at 14 Gay Street and this is 2,800 square metres of land that council has recently acquired primarily for the purpose of protecting the bushland that is behind me. Now, at the council meeting on the 18th of May, we made some resolutions about what will happen with this site, and I'd like to explain the process and the thinking behind uh, that resolution that has been adopted by council. So, let's be clear. There's a few options that council now has before it as to what we do with this block of land. One option is that we potentially demolish the house that is currently on this land and make it all a bushland reserve and then in the future reclassified as community classification for the protection of the community. On the other side there's another school of thought of do we subdivide this land to then reclassify what's the environmental protection zone and the 10 meter buffer zone and make that community but then to keep the northern portion of this site as what's called operational and council may renovate the existing dwelling on the site, it may demolish it and rebuild it and then it may consider selling the northern portion to recoup some of the costs in acquiring this land. Why would we consider that? Well, to give you an example, it was in last term on the last council where council sold a block of land where it was deemed surplus and not to council's needs. And the proceeds of that sale was put in a reserve for the purpose of other property acquisitions. And that's why when this block of land came on the market, council had some money put aside for that purpose that we could draw upon to help to purchase this block of land. So there's a school of thought there saying, well, maybe we should pay it forward and ensure that future councils have a pool of cash ready to buy blocks of land like this that are of benefit to our community. So that's the sort of the range of possibilities we have to consider with this. Now, in the resolution we passed on Thursday, the 18th of May, we made some very clear intentions. Number one, we've got a time frame as to when we will reclassify the southern portion of the site, being the environmental protection zone, the 10 metre buffer zone, which is approximately two thirds of the site. Then we've got to go through a number of reports. So we need an arborist report, an ecological report, a report on any threatened species. Those uh, reports are gonna to help to inform what we do with this site. Now, as an interim, we have classified all of this land as operational, and I'll explain why. In the future, regardless of what option council determines, we know that at a minimum, the environmental protection zone and the 10 metre buffer zone, we want to reclassify as community for the protection of the community. Once land is designated as a community classification, council can't sell it. Now, the process of changing from operational to community is very simple. We just need a resolution of council and give the community 28 days notice that we're going to do so and we can reclassify it. Very straightforward process. How have we classified all of this land as community to start with? As we investigate some of these other options, it's a very drawn out process to go from community classification to operational. And there's consultants reports, there's uh, applications that need to go to the state government. The state government then weighs in as to the future of this site. It's a costly and timely process. So basically the recommendation that was put forward to us councillors from the council staff is a model at the moment. It's a short term measure that gives maximum flexibility in the most cost effective way for us to determine what will be the long-term future of this site. The next steps are, is we're gonna go through a process of community consultation and collaboration around what those options are. So you'll have another opportunity to have your say with more information, you know, with the information from the various reports, with council also doing some further modeling as to what's possible, um, if it's worth what, well, of us even either keeping the house or demolishing the house or selling a portion, how much, all those things we don't know yet. So we've got to work through those but we will work and collaborate with our community around the future of this site. And there will be future resolutions that will be coming to council in the next 12 months that will help us to determine what is the long-term future of this site. So I hope that summary is very helpful. If you've got any questions, please uh, write me an email or send me a message. Happy to answer any further questions. And I hope you found this update helpful. Cheers.